Hey everyone, welcome to the Dungeon Cast. I'm Will. I'm Brian. This is the podcast where we talk about all things Dungeons and Dragons, and today we are covering the Warlock subclass, Pact of the Fathomless. One, two, three, four. Hey Brian. Hey Will. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Still trying to catch Shinies and Pokemon Go, but also here to talk about Warlocks and their Fathomless Pact. What a call out to the end of last episode <laughs> where you true. abandoned us to play Pokemon Go. I, I abandoned no one. I was here for the whole episode. I'm trying to catch goddamn Shiny Mudcaps and Pokemon Go has done a lot of changes and I'm mad at them. Those Anyways. whale Pokemon look thick, baby. Yeah, that Whalmer is really in the way. Whale-mer. Okay, let's talk about Warlocks. Okay. Um, I like Warlocks. You've played a warlock. Me also like you warlock. Gotta, <laughs> have you checked out the Fathomless um, subclass yet? Nope, because I we're, knew I was going to get that doing shit it right today. here. All get right. a full dose of Hold dungeon it. cast deep dive. Let us get into it then. Okay. You have plunged into a pact with the deeps, an entity of the ocean. The elemental plane of water or another otherworldly sea now allows you to draw on its thalassic power. Is it merely using you to learn about ter- terrestrial realms, or does it want you to open cosmic floodgates and drown the world? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's either one or the other. Which is it? Yeah, it's one of those two. You you, you decide. <laughs> Perhaps you were born into a generational cult that venerates the Fathomless and its spawn, or you might have been shipwrecked and on the brink of drowning when your patron's grasp offered you a chance at life. Whatever the reason for your pact, the sea and its unknown depths call to you. Yeah, you know, they throw around the word cult a lot in this game. Cult, especially yeah. with warlocks. Especially with warlocks. And it's it true. probably is a cult. But is it bad? Maybe. Probably. Probably. <laughs> um, this is like, so So the great old one, Pact, is like your obvious Lovecraftian um, warlock, right? Mm-hmm. This is the other type of Lovecraftian stuff. Lovecraft ha- loves his, you know, cosmic level, outer space, beyond this plane of existence stuff, but he also just like scary deep under a water shit. Yeah. That's what this is. He do like that. Yeah, indeed. Dagon. Dagon is like Dagan. number one, uh, thought when it comes to this. Shout out to the homie, not the Cthulhu. Um, no, when it comes to D and D, I'm thinking of, yeah, uh, I was thinking D&D about Dagon. I was thinking about Dagon as well, obviously since I brought him up. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the, the Cthulhu could fit into here. I know sure. everybody always like, Knows that one first, even though it's like one of the, the lesser sort of. He's definitely one of the lesser of the more popular Lovecraftian stories, gods. right? Yeah, I would say it is. And it's very ocean based. So Cthulhu yeah. is a good one for And this. there's the game called Cthulhu. Yeah. Entities of the deep that might empower Warlock include Krakens, ancient water elementals, godlike hallucinations dreamed into being by Kuatoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't even remember the name of that one crazy god. Remember? Not Shadakla. No, no, that's where Azuk Moy lives. I, um, I mixed it up in a game where I it's used It's bloop, 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 something like that. It's something crazy, something that's unpronounceable. Anyways, it's like a mad lobster goddess who only exists because they like, thought her into existence. Yes. Um, <laughs> like a brain fever or something like that. Yeah, it's like, like bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, there is a... Uh, blip, dual, poop, poop. <laughs> blip, dual, dual, poop. poop. Yeah, that one. Blip, dual, poop. So definitely that one. Uh, <laughs> Merfolk, demigods, and sea hag covens. So at first level, uh, one of the first things you're going to get is an expanded spell list. The Fathomless lets you choose from an expanded list of spells when you learn a Warlock spell. The following spells are added to the Warlock spell list for you. So at uh, first level, you get Create or Destroy Water and Thunder Wave. Second, you get Gust of Wind and Silence. At third, Lightning Bolt, Sleep Storm. Uh, fourth level spells, Control Water and Summon Elemental. Water only, though. Uh, and at fifth level spells, you get Big B's, Big B's Hand. Uh, appears as a tentacle and cone of cold. <laughs> big, big, so, be slimy, grimy, nasty appendage. Indeed. <laughs> um, also, first level, you get your first feature called Tentacle of the Deeps. Uh, you can magically summon a spectral tentacle that strikes at your foes. As a bonus action, you create a 10 foot long tentacle at a point you can see within 60 feet of you. The tentacle lasts for one minute or until you use this feature to create another tentacle. When you create the, the tentacle, you can make a melee spell attack against one creature within 10 feet of it. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 cold damage and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. When you reach 10th level in this class, the damage increases to 2d8. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move the tentacle up to 30 feet and repeat the action. 
repeat the attack. Wow, that's all one bonus action. That's pretty cool. You can move it and attack. Uh, you can summon the tentacle a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus. So the camera just died. Uh, and you regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. So this is really cool because it's it, bonus action related. You're Eldritch Blasting probably as a wizard or as a, as a warlock. So um, you're, this is kind of a damage dealing subclass. Yeah. Out the I, gate. I, I like it. You know, that D10 plus a D8 at level one. That's fucking brutal, actually. It's like, like, like super powerful. Yeah, Eldritch Blast has a great range. Yeah. So you're going to be a menace on the battlefield yeah absolutely like. also at first level you get another feature i love these subclasses that are just like yo we just give you everything immediately <laughs> I, you might as well because we're not getting into the level 15 level 20 play the way that we most players probably have their eyes all bugged out right at the beginning. Like, right look what i can do at the end like yeah well you're not the gonna, end the end will never get there <laughs> scheduling is hard um but the the feature is called gift of the sea and uh it grants you a swimming speed of 40 feet and you can breathe underwater which is probably the more useful of the two things but also both are useful yeah this is cool mm-hmm at sixth level, you get your next feature, Oceanic Soul. You are now even more at home in the depths. You gain resistance to cold damage. In addition, you are fully when you are fully submerged, any creature that is also fully submerged can understand your speech, and you can understand theirs. Nice. Uh, you get a second one at level six called Guardian Coil. Your tentacle of the deeps can defend you and others, interposing itself between them and harm. When you or a creature you could see takes damage while within 10 feet of the tentacle, you can use your reaction to choose one of those creatures and reduce the damage to that creature by 1d8. When you reach 10th level in this class, the damage reduced by the tentacle increases to 2d8. Oh, that's cool. So it doesn't interfere with your bonus action of using it. Yeah, it just increases yeah. the damage. And if you're staying out of it, you might not need your reaction a lot of times. So using it on behalf of your allies is really nice. It's a really real well rounded subclass. I like All it. All the Tasha's classes are so good. Yeah. Power creep. Indeed. Uh, at 10th level, you get your next feature Grasping Tentacles. You learn the spell Everd's Black Tentacles. Bla it counts as a warlock spell for you but it doesn't count against the number of spells you know you can also cast it once without a spell slot and you regain the ability to do so when you finish a long rest so nice i think more most warlocks get a spell like that they just do like free. a freebie yeah, yeah they need it considering they only can cast two a day which is crazy <laughs> that's so crazy now that i think about it yeah uh whenever you cast a spell your patron's magic bolsters to you granting you a number of temporary hit points equal to your warlock level moreover damage can't break your concentration on this spell hmm very nice. I feel like combat wise, this is better. Like, because you're normally like sword fighter plus, mm -hmm. basically with Eldritch Blast. Like, yeah, you hang out. Your range sword. You're, it's hard to explain. Like, yeah, well, like you're a cantrip blaster, right? Yeah, yeah. You're just doing consistent damage most turns. It's like most turns is like I do Eldritch Blast. It's like a right. joke. And and the the warlock from fourth edition was also very similar when it came to the striker classes. It was very consistent damage, which mm -hmm. you know is it's got its pros and cons. You don't get that supernova stuff that paladins and five E can do. Yeah. But you you dish it out consistently, which is nice. Um at 14th level, I think this is your final feature for the class, you get Fathomless Plunge. You magically open temporary conduits to watery destinations. As an action, you can teleport yourself and up to five other willing creatures that you can see within 30 feet of you. I made a whirl of tentacles. You all vanish and then reappear up to one mile away in a body of water you've seen, pond size or larger. So no puddles. Okay. Um, or within 30 feet of it. Uh, each of you appearing in an unoccupied space within 30 feet of the others. Once you use this feature, you can't use it again until you finish a short rest or a long rest. That's so a like feature. A short rest teleport is basically what you're getting. Yeah. Okay, so this is, this is interesting in that I feel like this class is weighted a little bit more towards the beginning. And at the end, you get something cool, but not necessarily game breaking. So like if you're thinking about multi-classing, just do it after 10th level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than that, uh, I really like the flavor for this one. Um, I haven't come up with a character yet, which I usually do. Usually I make my characters ahead of time for these types of ep episodes. But I thought today we can do like a live, let's build a character on the spot on D&D Beyond. Um, and you, did you build your character today? Uh, I have one up in the old brain, and I'll just assign stats to it. Okay. Well, then uh, we'll get to that, but we'll do that after the short rest. Just got to be short. We've returned. Indeed we have. That means that we're back. Indeed we are. Indicative to the sounds you're hearing. Yeah, it'd be weird if you were hearing us, yet we mm. weren't actually here. It that, was instead of some weird clones. <clears throat> that's some that fathomless shit, if you ask me. <laughs> Quite Very on brand for this Very episode. Very unfathomable. Unfathomable indeed. Um, you know what is fathomable? This character I created. Welcome to the Heron Converse. <laughs> 
Tell us about the Herringon you created today, Brian. Ron Tsunami Bomb John, the Herringon. I like it. I like the name. Ron it's, Tsunami Bomb John. It's based off of a guy I knew in high school. So if you're listening to this, John John, I love you. I hope uh, you're not still working Does at Ron Target. John listen to the show? No. Oh, okay. Well, does Ron John? No, just his name was John John. Oh, and okay. We called him John John or Tsunami Bomb John because he loves the band Tsunami Bomb. Which is a good band. I like that band. And, um, uh, Ron and, Tsunami Bomb John is this character, though. Yeah, and he's a he's a rough riding, uh, surfing, <laughs> water loving dude. Okay, cool. Um, and also a fathomless warlock. And if, and he spent so much time in the in the near the deeps that he got deep. That he got deep. He got so deep. He got too deep. He got too deep, and now he's a warlock. Hashtag deep. Hashtag deeps. <laughs> <laughs> That's another uh, another thieves can't hashtag. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Hashtag thieves can't hashtags. I gotta make I gotta make this a thing. You sure. Beagle, I mean keep working on it. Beagle Deeps. Beagle Deeps. Beagle and Deeps are yeah, both. Yeah, Deeps hashtags. is my best friend's nickname. His name is Gurdeep. And so we call, oh, we we just call, call him, him Deeps. We call him Deeps. Damn, all the time. <laughs> that's a hardcore nickname. What's up, Gurdeep? Yeah. Known him since I was in first grade. Anyways, back to your character. Yeah. Um <laughs> so uh, Ron Tsunami Bomb John lives by the sea. <laughs> I would hope so. With a yeah. name like that, you got it. And he loves to surf. Um, so let's get into the stats. I am is a, a hair his surfboard his magical implement? I didn't even think about the magical implement. So yeah. Oh, right. He just carries a board. He just with carries him. a board with him and he does ocean magic. It's one of those, um, a skim board. Oh, he's not really even surfing. He's he's a skimboarder. He's a skimboarder, but he he can probably use a skimboard as like a whole surfboard. I forget. He's, he's a rabbit boy. He's small. I, I picked a small hair and yeah, gun. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Um, I am zero strength, but plus three to dex. Uh, nice. Plus one to con. Okay. Minus one to intelligence. But yeah, plus, he doesn't need that. Plus two to wisdom. Yeah, he's, he's dumb. He got talked into <laughs> warlock shit. Um, he got plus two to wisdom and plus three to charisma. Um, but his his force of personality is just that he fucking loves to surf, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's an island boy. He's not like Ron John, the topaz dragon from last episode. No, that dude's a little rough around the edges. And they have the same. Uh, they're both rough around the edges. Like There's they're friends, of- but I don't think Ron Tsunami Bomb John knows how bad of a person Ron John, the topaz dragon is. No, he definitely doesn't. He's not smart enough to know. Ron John, the dragon, just likes to watch Tsunami Bomb John, Ron John. Uh, skimboard because he's so good at it. He is. He's so talented. He's like, huh. uh, hey, uh, Jenny, look at <laughs> look at this little rabbit. He's uh, oh fuck, I'm not doing it right. Yo, look at this little rabbit. He's like fucking tearing it up out there, babe. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't you have a son? Have we have we established <laughs> that you have a son? Why don't you go watch your son instead of this little <laughs> rabbit? No, nah, this guy leaves. This guy leaves me alone, babe. <laughs> Stop calling me babe. I'm not your babe. Uh, wait, I'm not sure who you are, what you're doing here, babe. <laughs> you're not my babe. Uh, okay, I got plus six to initiative. <laughs> so good. Yeah, unexpectedly good. How did I do that? I don't know. Good huh. for you, though. I must be adding my initiative count somewhere with something I did. Uh, but uh, I got a, a nice rounded 51 HP at level eight. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm proficient in athletics, deception, nature, perception, and survival. Uh Let's see my features, because I took two feats. Obviously, I'm getting everything we talked about in the first half of the episode. Tentacle of the Deeps. Um, my invocations, that's a really important thing to talk about with this. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I vom my tentacle. I totally vom that up. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, that's, that's great. so gross. You know I love it. I'm sure you um, do. Be- bewitching Whispers. So once per long rest, you can cast Compulsion using a Warlock spell. Make people go crazy. Um, I got the tricksters. Uh, that's from the player's handbook. I got the tri- trickster, tri- tricksters escape from Xanathar's guide. Uh, <laughs> once per long rest, you can cast freedom of movement on yourself without expending a spell slot, you know, for those nasty riptides. Uh, beast speech. You can cast speak with animals at will without expending a spell slot. So I can Aquaman it up a little bit. I'm like a blend of my friend John from high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, just some random surfer guy like a Kelly Slater, I guess, sort of thing. And <laughs> yeah. then uh, a Kelly Slater. And then a uh, like an Aquaman. Kind I of like vibe. it. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, OK, so you'll have to educate me because I have not seen any DC movie Besides the second Suicide Squad, really. Let's just start there. Why that um, one? 
Just for because shit Michelle really wanted to watch it, and it was pretty good. Um, we just hit the sequel, like, out of the dark. <laughs> okay, It was pretty good. Have you seen it? No, no, no. I'm not saying the movie's bad. It's just like, if you're, go- I've seen one DC movie. It's the second Suicide Squad. Well, it's because like, James oh. Gunn directed it, and you know, he's the Guardians of the Galaxy guy, and they brought him in to save the franchise. Fair enough. All right. But anyways, I haven't seen anything with Aquaman, but I hear he's kind of a dude, bro. Is he kind of like that? Oh, how Aquaman is kind of yeah a dude the new bro? Aquaman the new Aquaman yeah. yeah I guess he's kind of a dude bro he's like he's a lot like the Topaz Dragon Ron John oh is okay so he's not okay he, he's he's kind of a off putting a little is bit, he? a little bit guy oh yeah. he's not cool charismatic he's like the Mako tsunami from the uh, from Yu Gi Oh um, I got nothing he's just it. like slightly off putting where he's like uh-huh. really friendly until you're not doing what he wants oh okay and then he's like a fucking crazy person fish, oh. crazy fish guy so he is the topaz dragon around John I know you've seen yeah I uh, well no <laughs> I mean basically <laughs> yeah, is. But yeah but yeah <laughs> okay but no not more. really all right so but yes continue with your character here um so you know you've seen uh DBZ abridged yes, on YouTube. But absolutely. The, before, the little the wi- little Karibo product before that was the um, Yu-Gi-Oh abridged series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they do the Mako Tsunami character really funny in that one, uh-huh. or he's like being friendly, and then he like they try to leave. okay see you later Mako, and he's they start to leave, and like he throws a spear at them when they're trying to leave, and they're like why'd you throw a spear? And he's like I didn't want you to leave. And they're like, you could have just said so, you crazy fish bastard, or some shit like that. It's like, it's like, oh. And that's how the new Aquaman is. And this is how, no, this is how Ron John, Tsunami Bomb Ron John is. Okay, gotcha. All right. Yeah, I don't know how the new Aquaman is. I haven't seen, I've seen less DC movies than you. (sighs) This whole time, though, you're talking about the new Aquaman. No, but go ahead. I don't give a shit about Aquaman. I just want to kind of be like him a little bit. Uh, I'm a pack to the chain warlock, and I have a little squid guy. Nice. Like when Inkling turns into the squid to go into the paint. I have one of those. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Okay. It's nasty though. It'll 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 hook you. It, it just kind of floats about. I can do like attacks with it probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's one of the things I get with chain. Um, yeah, I I took the inspiring leader feat because I thought that would be a cool thing for him to monologue in that voice to his party. Like, all right, listen up, guys. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit this dungeon like I hit those nasty curling waves out there, and we're gonna do it so good that we can't. I guess I'm an Australian yeah, surfing you've, guy you've, now. You've transferred, but I'm into it. It works. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna keep pushing, and so are we. Like I do on my skimboard all day, and it, and like the sun doesn't even matter, and and this and that, and yeah. like uh, and he'll start like um, uh, tsunami bomb. Yeah, soon. Ron John, Ron John, <laughs> do the tsunami bomb. Tsunami bomb's probably like a sick. It's got to be. Though, yes, it absolutely. Where has he to like be. ramps up the curl and like does a flip and lands and keeps surfing. Yeah, I like so, it. And it makes a big old splash, even though he's a tiny little rabbit. Mm-hmm. I'm the small rabbit, by the way. Hair and gone. Um, he could always bail. He just got that freedom of movement thing. And then um, I took another feat. I thought, oh, the athlete feat. Maybe that's why I got good. Um, he's an athlete because he surfs. Right. That counts. Um, then I got all my cool hair and gone racial stuff, you know, like hair trigger. You can add your proficiency bonus plus three to your initiative rolls. That's where it's from. It's because I'm a hair and gone. My, um, my left. Do you have any cool senses. items? Any any cool? Yes, I do. I'm okay. glad you reminded me because yes. I spent so much time. Um, I, I thought I heard you mumbling over there about items. I was mumbling about <laughs> about items. Um, he uses daggers that are just. Um, like shark teeth or like fish bones that are sharpened and he okay. throws them. Okay, that's cool. Um, but obviously Eldritch Blast is like the flavor on that. It's going to be like little water tornadoes. Mm-hmm. And I did take Grasp of Hadar as one of my invocations because I am level eight. I get four of those. Okay, okay. So that will pull my target 10 feet. So it'll hit them with the water and then the water will go to their feet and then like carry them forward. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Like a riptide. Uh, I've got some leather armor on that's probably like some fish skins and scales and stuff or like some thick some thick animal water animal i have uh i took the pole of angling oh um so you like the fish i take it yeah how do i pull up the okay here it is while holding this 10 foot pole um is it like to fish or need to fish bazinga uh while holding this 10 foot pole you can speak a command word and transform it into a fishing pole with a hook a line and a reel speaking the command word again changes a fishing pole back into a normal 10 foot pole that he could beat your ass with uh he probably got that as a gift from the deeps yeah absolutely definitely you guys do a signing bonus and they're like 
Uh, if you'll say yes, <laughs> I will. If there's a if signing bonus, yes. like, how about a fishing pole that's not a fishing pole until you say it's a fishing pole? He's like, that sounds confusing. Can I fish with it? And they're like, hell yeah, you can. <laughs> Just say fishing pole where you're holding the pole. He's like, this pole. And they're like, yeah. And he's holding the pole. He's like, fishing pole. He's like, crikey. <laughs> Boy, gum, jeez, damn it. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a high-quality fishing rod. I, I love it. So, so you're in. Oh, yeah, you know it. Uh, and that's how that went down. Okay. Uh, and then what? I think that was it. Nice. Oh, I like, I'm going to be honest. I like your character. He's fun. Sorry, my surfboard, my skimboard, surf slash surfboard is my spellcasting focus. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we established that earlier, but yes. We did on camera? Yeah, you did on camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> it was okay. one just of the wanted, first things we said. I wanted to double check. Maybe that's why I forgot about it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh. Let's move on to my character who has not been created yet. I wanted to do this live and see how this went. I do have a concept. My concept is this. Kuatoa with a tentacle rod. And I want to do Pact of the Blade with the with the blade being the tentacle rod. Neat. Okay. So problem immediately out the gate. There is no Kuatoa race in 5e. <laughs> womp, womp. But D&D Beyond allows you to use homebrew. So I downloaded or connected or saved or whatever you want to say. This Kuatoa race that had like the biggest approval rating. And I'll read this to you. Uh, I don't remember who made this, but here we go. Uh, plus two to dex, plus one to wisdom. Um, they can breathe air or water because they're amphibious. They have a bite that's a natural weapon, 1d4 plus strength mod. Um, and they get dark vision because, you know, they live underground. Kuto weapon training. Kuto favor weapons designed to catch rather than kill. And then sacrifice their prey to their deity. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very in line with this guy. Like They're proficient in use of nets, sticky shields, and pincer staffs. So my guy's definitely going to have a net, I think. <laughs> mostly for fishing. Um, used to be common and undercommon. They're medium, standing around four feet tall. The advantage on ability checks and saving those made to escape a grapple because they're slippery. Mm. And yeah, so I'm choosing this homebrew race. You can just go ahead and look in their search bar and you will you guys will find it. Or you can see this character sheet after we upload it to That's our Patreon. True. Okay, so I'm adding the Warlock class. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. What level should we do? Eight? I did eight. eight. I, I traditionally do somewhere between like seven or, or okay. 12. We're definitely doing the Fathomless because that's eight, what though. this episode is all about. That'd be weird if you selected something else. <laughs> it would be. So for uh, proficiencies, I think I'm choosing nature. I'm thinking water, uh, like uh, aqua life. I did that as well. And then... Uh, mm, Deception, because it's hard to see. You know what? There. I'm going with history for a reason. So this guy's deal is that he's not happy with a lot of the Kuotoa because the Kuotoa have had a really rough lot in life. And he's not happy with Blipdulpulp because she's crazy. And even though she like she wants what's best for her children, she doesn't really do a lot. And they, they've remained in their oppressive state for a long time. Mm. So he's invented in his mind his imaginary god who is totally sane and really wants the best for them. And in his madness, because he's a Kuatoa, he accidentally created um, um, an entity strong enough to be his patron, but not strong enough to really do much else. Okay. And basically, this patron's like, yo, dog, I'm going to save all your people. And thanks for making me and all that. Um, and I'll give you power to do to do that. But you got to bring more believers to me so I can become a god. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't make believer, Eldritch Blast won't blast. Exactly. Yes. It will only Eldritch. Yes. <laughs> so not good enough. Whether this entity it will do what it says remains to be seen. That's up to the DM in this game. That'll never happen. But, <laughs> um, but theoretically, it could go either way. So <clears throat> I maybe if you can help me come up with a name for the entity, but um. While while we do that, I am going to choose my pack boon is going to be of the blade. Um, let me see, that's my ability and score improvement. Um, poop to blib, poop to blib. <laughs> nah. Um, no, no, I don't want to. Something squiddy, I'm thinking, because we're we're doing we got the floating tentacle, and then I want to do the tentacle rod as well. Can he look like handsome Squidward? Um, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, I can. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Like you go, you swim down to the deepest part of your local Kuatoa, whatever body of water that you can go, and you mm -hmm. see handsome Squidward down there, and he's like, "You made me." <laughs> I like uh, it. Ken Kenny is your name, Kenny. Um, Kenny no, the, Kenny, Kenny the, the Kuatoa. Kuatoa? Um, yeah, well, I was gonna Kenny uh, Ken yeah. Mather, Ken Mathers Kuatoa. Well, I was gonna go with uh, the heretic kind of deal because basically he's preaching against 
his people's deity, right? So he's mm-hmm. going to become outcast immediately. So he's now he's mucking about the surface, trying to get more power for his god, so he can go back and reconquer his people with his new, better ideas. Maybe his name could be Mucka Bouts. <laughs> yeah, that's his name, Mucka Bouts. <laughs> Mucka Bouts. Mucka Bouts, the Kuatoa heretic. Um, I really like that actually. That's really that's really cool. <laughs> Change his name once he got outcast. Yeah. Now he just mucks about. Now he just mucks about. Um, so I need. I need good invitations here. Yeah. In- um, don't click Gifts of the Depths because it's actually just redundant to what you get as Okay, well. cool. Good, 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 good. Yeah. I was hoping to get something. So you're either going to go Eldritch Blasty pretty much. I kind of want to go uh, Pokey Stabby. Pokey Stabby? Yeah. Um, then like avoid like all the Eldritch Blasty stuff. That might be a good one. And I did notice there's a lot of stuff that's level. Oh, Eldritch Smite. That's where I'm starting. Right. El- that's okay. where I can spend a Warlock spell to deal extra force damage with my with my weapon attack. Neat. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Gaze of Two Minds. Do the thing you're going to do constantly better. That's, that's good. Yeah, basically. Um, Bewitching Whispers and stuff. Those are cool. Like Beast see, Speech. What does cool. that do? Compulsion. No, nah, he's yeah, not really into that, that right now. Uh, Eldritch Mind. What does that mean? Or stuff like Ghostly Gaze. Um, ghostly Advantage Gaze. On gaze of Two image. Minds. What is that? Because he, I, I, I figure he, he is crazy. He's totally skits. Yeah, he's totally skits. So, um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Mm. Or like, do you actually roll, are going to role play him as like a schizophrenic? I think I would. I think I would do like a whole moon night thing where he goes back and forth. I'm going to oh, do sure. an improved pack weapon. Again, improve the thing that you do all the time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Th- so, that's one route. Because I think at these higher levels, I can do some better stuff. Yeah, now. you either like specialize in what you're going to do always as a warlock, I feel like, or you diversify and you go way out and make yourself like a utility caster in a lot of ways with like the free spells you get from invocations or like passive buffs like um, Devil Sight. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. Um, I'm thinking, what is relentless hex Cur- your curse cre- oh wait I don't have that uh, hexblade curse though there was another one I saw here that what about like brutal. mask of many faces you can like use disguise self I'm pretty sure a bunch of times oh that's not bad um, hold on misty visions I haven't heard of this one silent image at will that's kind of interesting um, ghostly gaze like you said you can maybe, maybe you want to make illusions to like show people your new handsome squidward god <laughs> Maybe. Just look at him. He's so beautiful. <laughs> I got to pull up a picture. Because is, is he actually called Handsome Squidward? Does everybody know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah, I think that's what people refer to. Oh, I'm going to do Sign of Omen where you can bestow curses. And then one last thing, Thirsting Blade. Uh, now I can attack twice with my weapon. Sweet. Okay. God. No, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. SpongeBob is an excellent show. SpongeBob is an amazing show. All right. So I'm going to pick a feat. I'm going to pick at least one feat, hopefully two. I want to lean into some more water stuff here, if there's any. Um, any feats jump out to you? Just thinking about it. Um, observant is cool stuff like that, or like um, alert. I, I like those for Carter. Um, when I made Carter Hutton. Yeah, those are pretty good. Life. Like uh, uh, general, generally just good for any build. Or you can go with like charlatan or um, alkalite. I wish I knew more. Can you pull up the tentacle rod real quick and, and read yeah. me some things about it? Because I'm thinking almost about polearm master, but I don't know if that counts as a polearm or not. Okay. I know it get isn't that the one that gets um, like a charge, like three charges a day to do like extra tentacle damage? I think so. You, something you like use that. It like a beat stick. Yeah. But you, you can use it as a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Okay. I'm looking it up now. Hang on. Um, nothing is particularly crusher. That's like bludgeoning damage, right? Uh, yes, <laughs> I took Crusher Feet for a small herring gun a few episodes back. Um, okay, so the tentacle rod was made by the drow. This rod is a magic weapon that ends in three rubbery tentacles. While holding the rod, you can use an action to direct each tentacle to attack a creature you can see within 15 feet of you. Each tentacle makes a melee attack roll with a plus nine bonus. On a hit, the tentacle deals 1d6 bludgeoning damage. If you hit a target with all three tentacles, it must make a dc15 constitution saving throw. On a failure, the creature's speed is halved. It has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws, and it can't use reactions for one minute. That's a lot like... um. A spell, like the, one of the tentacle spells. Moreover, on each of its turns, it can take either an action or a bonus <clears throat> action, but not both. It does bludgeoning damage? Yeah, it Okay, does. I'm going to take the crusher feet. 
because I'm going to be using this rod constantly. Neat. Okay. Increases my constitution by one uh, once per turn when I hit a creature attack that deals bludgeoning damage. I can move it five feet, which makes sense with the tentacles. I'm pulling. That's why them. they let you leave like your Kuatoa place without killing you, is because you're so fucking buff. <laughs> yeah, can crush absolutely. Anybody. And your <clears throat> handsome Squidward God gave you this tentacle rod as a signing bonus. Absolutely. When you <laughs> score a critical hit that deals bludgeoning damage to a creature, attack rolls against that creature are made with advantage until the start of your next turn. So that's good. Um, I remember players when you're when you're creating warlocks and you're talking it over with your DM that your Eldritch Blast is your salary, right? And your features <clears throat> are like your salary. You need a signing bonus when you come on so you can get a magic item like us here on the Dungeon Cast. Okay, I'm using uh, level eight to do, I'm boosting his charisma by two because he's got to do some spell stuff. I'm going to pick some spells. Okay. So how many spells do I know? I get to know nine spells. Um, let's start with the cantrips. Eldritch Blast, obviously. But then I want to do watery stuff if I can, or windy stuff. Let's see. There are. I thought illusion stuff <clears throat> would be a cool pick because you could make like blankets of water that show people like images and shit like that, and be like, "Look at handsome Squidward." Uh, wait, which one? Uh, like a uh, minor illusion or something like that. Oh yeah, minor yeah. illusion, and then uh, I almost want to do mind sliver, but I actually think I'm going to do booming blade. No chill touch. No, not booming blade actually. Um, no, not chill touch. Um, That's more like death, not like water. Yeah, I was hoping for some sort of water one, but I forgot. No, there's not really water stuff. Not uh, for uh, the warlock. Yeah, there's um, like ice. At, there's a lot of ice stuff, like armor of Agathis. Yeah, you know what? I'll do. And then there's a lot of tentacle stuff because it's a warlock and it's got to be gross like that. Right, of course. Um, I almost want to do mind sliver, lightning lure, briefly play friends. Those Frostbite. That's a cool one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do Frostbite. Uh yeah, frostbite. Okay, and then let's move to first level spells. Mage hand's always good too. If you see, need more. I'm gonna learn hex because I like to curse people. That's kind of his thing. Curse, Neat. curse the non-believers. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's just hexing people that disagree with him. Be, in the yeah, this is exactly, he's, he's crazy. Is he's, he from the underdark or is he from? He's like, from the underdark. Okay. Yeah, he's a uh, cause fear. Okay, no. With his, his fucking ramblings about handsome Squidward. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> exactly right. God, I need more water spells. Why aren't there Misty more water step. spells? You Misty Step. Mist. Yeah, water. I guess that's water. I'll learn Misty Step and um, Crown of Madness. Enthrall. Maybe enthrall people with, with the te- his teachings. Yeah. Okay, third level. I'm going to choose two more from third level. <laughs> Like the animation quality in this episode of SpongeBob, you don't understand. <laughs> All right, Sleet Storm, that's water. Um, wow, I can summon Shadow Spawn and Lesser Demons. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you want some concentration spells as a warlock because you want the action economy to help. That's true. Um, oh, and that's itself. the summon stuff? Yeah, I think so. Um, Anything with a little sea diamond next to it is a concentration. I'm going to do summon spell. Shadow Spawn, but I'm going to reflavor them as, as aquatic creatures of some sort. Yeah, like watery <clears throat> shadows. Yeah, water shadows, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, level four, which is my highest bit. Blight that ass. Um, take, no. take the water out of shit. Um, sickening radiance. Oh, from my from my disgusting god. Creature moves into <laughs> it's not sp- disgusting. He's so beautiful. Yeah, he's he's so handsome. It's sickening. He's so handsome. I'm definitely so basically <laughs> that's that where one. The madness comes I from. just literally create a, a, a image of handsome square. Behold, yeah. look at it. Look at it. <laughs> sickening <get> it. <laughs> Uh Control water. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Spell. I'm happy with those. So let's move on. We're gonna do some point buying. That's right, you nasty point buyer. <laughs> what do you do? Oh I, yeah, I standard. You, just, you because it's so much easier to make you a character would for the show. Standard. Um, it's the same. It's basically the same. He's he's not strong. That's why he uses the uh, the rod. Um. That's why. No, he is strong. Twelve. He's supposed um, to be buff, like handsome squid. Okay, fine. He's ten strength. So okay, after after all the pluses, we're looking at ten strength, sixteen dex, fourteen constitution, ten intelligence, thirteen wisdom, and sixteen charisma. So he's well rounded with no no negatives. Um, he is definitely a, an occultist of some sort. Um, hermit, maybe. Cause the, yeah, they, you get they have a their piece discovery. Of yeah, that nobody else knows, and that could just be handsome Squidward. Languages, he, languages he knows. Deep speech. Yeah, that's where I went for, to. Yeah, for, deep speech and abyssal. He's made a discovery. This new deity that we named. What do we named him? Handsome Squidward. Handsome Squidward. <laughs> um. Oh, what do we name your uh, muckabouts? 
The muckabouts, yeah. Muckabouts worship hands. Muck. You could spell that however. Abouts, one word. You got an extra S in there. I, I do. Yeah, muckabouts. Muckabouts. Okay, and possessions. We're going to add some items. First, the tentacle rod, for sure. <laughs> possessions. We're going to add some thralls. So he's got a tentacle rod, and then I want to give him some, like, really nasty armor. So what are, what's, like, the grossest armor? Probably, like... like like seashell armor that has like this the little muscles or whatever is still inside of it it smells bad no i don't know what um i'm not too familiar with like different armors me like, too in i'm terms just of magic I'm like capabilities water. i know like the cast off armors are cool because then you don't have to ta- take time like donning and doffing true although your warlock should probably not have like armor that's super complicated no no it's to gonna be light off. armor it's yeah. gonna be light armor to to complicate the decks okay we'll we'll do studded leather but it will be made out of walrus hide yeah because that's disgusting because <laughs> it's gross <laughs> those walrus un- those underdark walruses and i figure i figure it's got like the walrus whiskers coming up off the shoulders maybe you're in the part of the underdark that meets like the frozen tundra you know what I mean? Um, so they're like they're like little. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I cabin. got a little Arctic touch to me too. Yeah, for sure. so you got like the underwater locations where like a walrus might be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm into that. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna give him a scroll of some sort. Nope, never mind. They're not coming up. I apparently I'm not proficient in scrolls. You know, we don't do too many rings um, either. Oh no, you're gonna want to click magical for sure, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Um, no, I don't want to do rings because he's got the web hands. Rings don't really go on those. Oh, gross. Maybe um, he's got like really uh, buff biceps and really skinny forearms. He's not that buff. Yeah, but he, his only buffness is in his he, forearms he's, for crushing. He's sturdy. He's sturdy because of that constitution, basically. Sturdy. Sturdy. I was going to say because you can fit a ring over like his wrist instead of his finger. Uh, yeah. Just like get his little webby hand mm. in there. Yeah. Mm. I'm looking for stuff. I, Pipe of smoke monsters. We're, we're That's probably going to time out on the camera here. Oh, you're probably right. Okay. I just want to give him one more item. No, you're good. One more item. Uh, none of this is good. None of this is good. <laughs> what was I? I wanted to look at scrolls. I'm going to give him a scroll. Some sort. Oh, it's just it's just by level. Oh, you so know you what? Can, like give him a spell. Oh, I thought maybe there were scrolls. He has been that. gifted a level nine scroll a that he gets spell? to use one time. It's not going to be a wish spell. Add item. Do I get to decide what's? How it's do gonna, I? How do I decide what's? It's spell? gonna be power word kill. I think you just decide. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. You mean like how to add it in the? Okay. Let's okay. look up level nine spells. Level nine spells. It'll be like the most powerful oceanic type spell, um, in the game. I and think it's he like tidal wave. He's yeah. been tidal, He's been told that he will know when to use it. He'll know when to fuck shit up. So let's see here. We have storm of vengeance. Holy yes, shit. a churning storm cloud forms centered on a point that you can see and spreading to a radius of 360 feet. Lightning flashes in the area, thunder booms, strong winds roar, roar. Each creature under the cloud, no more than 5,000 feet beneath the cloud. When it appears, must make a con save. On a failed save, it takes 2d6 thunder damage and becomes deafened for five minutes. Each round, you maintain concentration on the spell of the storm, produces additional effects on your turn. Round two, acidic rain falls from the cloud. Uh, round three, you call six bolts of lightning from the cloud. Round four, hailstones rain down from the cloud. Yes, this is it. So... <laughs> he can he, use. His patron has given him a Storm of Vengeance scroll, and he has told him, "You will know when the time is right." And the thing is, he'll all. It's, it's going to be like an elixir in uh, an RPG. How you know you never end up using your elixir? Oh yeah. You always want to save them. He always saves the scroll, and he never uses it. And he beat he beat the final boss like years ago. Exactly. He's supposed to use it on. He's yeah. like, when do I do it? Yeah. So that's like, my character. Walk across the Underdark to retrieve this scroll. Mm-hmm. And then when you get back to your people, vengeance the fuck out of them for booting you, for worshiping me, handsome Squidward. Exactly. Oh, there we go. I like that. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's Muckabouts, my Kuotoa, Fathomless Warlock. I'm very proud of him. Cool, man. It was fun building that. Yeah. yeah. All yeah, right. Well, with that, I think we can take a long rest. Let's take a long rest. So then she says to me, how <laughs> long can it be? <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to The Long Rest. Um, this is the part of the show where we are grateful as fuck about you guys. Indeed thanks we for, are. Thanks for getting here. Uh, I hope you guys liked our character building segment. We tried something new. Um, let us know what you think about it in the comments or you know on Twitter or like wherever the fuck you think you should let us know. Um, and be kind. Rewind. I mean, to us is what I meant to say. Uh, if you feel like it. If not, uh, 
treat me like a bad boy, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you want to support the show, you can do so by checking out patreon.com slash the dungeon cast. It's the number one way to support us. It takes a ton of time and resources to make the show. Uh, if you want the bonus content that is there, you can have it for money. Uh, it takes uh, like five bucks to get you early episodes that are ad free as early as we can get them to you. But usually like anywhere three to one to three weeks early. Um there's lots of lots of live plays, episode notes, um, character sheets. We round those up every now and again and, and drop a bunch in there. If yeah, you I'm see. overdue to do that. Yeah, if you want to see those, um, our older ones are probably all in there. But you can also leave uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify review or review it wherever. Hit like, subscribe. Um, there's a merch store, and surprise has merch in it. Uh, it's got all our <laughs> logos and stuff, uh, including stuff for Super Quest Saga. And then uh, spread the word the way you would uh, like an enemy of uh, Norse like warship or something. What? <laughs> yeah, you'd like take them from the legs. Oh my them in half god! Upward Damn legs. it! Blood How do you baby? See it coming? How many times can I make Will forget about the blood eagle? <laughs> Find out. I forget every time. For the last three weeks. Um, this is the worst. This has all happened. We recorded all these on the same day. We did, and I forgot shit. every time. We forgot every time. Um, you can follow our Discord, which is an amazing community of lots of people, including moderators and stuff that are really cool. Uh, Twitter, a place where tweets happen. Instagram, a place where grams happen instantly. And TikToks, <laughs> where they have nothing but clocks. Uh, you can check us out on all that stuff. And uh, that's it. So that's it. All right. There's well, no the, other way okay. to, to support us. I, I think we can call it a game. <laughs> All right. Let's we'll call talk it a game. to you guys later.